In January each year, Japan celebrates Coming of Age Day. These young adults have plenty of life goals, but for many, marriage is not one of them. Someone told me they were asked in a job interview whether they might have plans to get married in the future. That made me worried about whether or not I can have a job and be a married woman at the same time. Misato Nishimura is a fashion designer living in Tokyo. But like many of her friends and peers, she's single and childless. Nishimura says she wants to get married one day, but finding a suitable partner is difficult. I am worried. I'm turning 32 this year, and I'm not married, but I don't think it's a problem just for me. Everyone is busy working. In the past, if men would work hard, women could enter the family and do housework or child-rearing. But now, there aren't any people who do that in this generation. Women also work, and I think that also makes it hard to make children. The nation's health ministry says marriage and birth rates in Japan have gradually dropped since the end of World War II. And over the past five years, they've hit an all-time low. Both have fallen a further 10%. Just under a million babies were born last year, which means newborns like him may not have as many friends to play with. But in the long run, there will be fewer Japanese adults entering society as well as the workforce. Last year, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe announced an $18 billion stimulus package on child care and education to try and boost the population. But experts say that won't be enough unless there's a change in working environments and culture. We have one of the longest um, maternity, leave, maternity leave entitlements. It's very clear. It's not working in Japan if you look at the birth rate. So quite frankly, I'm not really sure uh, how effective it is for the government to provide the longer uh, matern maternity leave. I think what is more important is the flexibility of the labor market. The government considers this a national crisis. But it's another question whether it can find a quick solution to a problem that's been more than half a century in the making. Haruka Nunga, TRT World, Tokyo.